sacros tuberous release is used to help rebalance the pelvis and to allow the hind leg to come forward freely. So to find it, you need to find these bony landmarks. This is the back part of the pelvis, the tuber ischii, and you can feel them here. There are two big bones that actually stick back like this. So the ligament is actually on the inside of the bone and goes all the way forward to the top of the croup. So you have to access it by actually going under the tail. Now the way to find it accurately is to think about this as a clock face. So on the right side of the horse, you're gonna contact the ligament at approximately 11 o'clock. And on the left side of the horse, you're gonna contact the ligament at approximately two o'clock. I like to stand across from the horse for safety reasons. If the horse won't lift his tail, if it clamps it down, you can just basically uh, scratch on the root of the tail a little bit to get him to raise it all the way. The tool you're gonna to use is basically this angle of your thumb. And you don't really, you don't wanna squeeze with this. That'll make the horse jump away, it won't like it. But you're simply gonna lose your body weight. So I always kind of, if you need to be on a block or something to get yourself up, I like to just spread my legs. I'm basically gonna hold the tail, I'm gonna put this angle basically right at approximately two o'clock. So my thumb is going to be right here is actually on the ligament and it feels like kind of like a greasy band. You can feel this band, you'll feel the bone. And now I'm just simply going to lean. So when you lean into it, you'll feel it and you just Imagine your weight going from this angle through the horse. And you need to gradually lean in. You don't just grab it. Notice I don't have any grip. The biggest mistake people make is they try to squeeze this. That's actually squeezing a hamstring muscle, which doesn't feel very good. The working part of this release is the actual thumb. But because your thumb will get very fatigued, you basically leave your thumb passive and you lean into it. So I actually like to lean into this. And just relax. It's one of the biggest things with any sort of body release. The more you relax and use your body weight, the easier the horse can relax too. ease out the same way you ease into it slowly and then you're going to repeat on the other side so again on the right side of the horse I place my thumb and I lean in usually what I do I make a decision I'll palpate both first find the tighter side I always start working on the looser side first the tighter side is going to be more painful and you don't want to start there a lot of people ask me, when do you know when to let go of this release? And usually what I say is when you feel the tissue physically relax under your hands, or the horse has some obvious behavioral shift, like a big sigh, it'll lift its tail and pass gas, it'll just greatly relax the hip. You may be here for a couple minutes, so get comfortable. And here she's licking and chewing. 